The thickets provide shelter and food for a variety of wildlife species. A well-designed thicket will provide food sources, nesting sites, and protection from snow, ice, and predators. Thickets can be part of a restoration plan used to stabilize a stream bank or used to address an erosion problem. These plantings can also provide other benefits to landowners such as a sight and sound barrier or as a windbreak. This video is about a plant we recommend for use in establishing a thicket. A tree that we suggest for a thicket is the river birch tree. The river birch can grow in a variety of soils from wet to dry. It is hardy. It can grow in adverse conditions and it's easy to grow. And when you're planting a thicket, one of the considerations is you want a tree that's cheap. River birch seedlings are cheap. We sell river birch seedlings, river birch transplants, and river birch trees potted and bald and burlapped. We have a wide range of trees for you. But in establishing the thicket, most people start with a small seedling. We like to grow them in a number three pot using three seedlings in one pot to form a clump. The river birch is best grown as a clump because it will withstand deer browse and deer rubbing better. Also, if we decide to sell some of these for landscape purposes, it's a prized tree when it's a three stem clump. The river birches that we sell are small seedlings that can be as small as three to six inches up to two to three feet. The best size to plant in the landscape is probably something that's potted or bald and burlapped. But if you're going to plant a thicket, you want to buy hundreds of them and plant them in groups of three and do a mass planting. And I recommend that you plant them in straight rows so that you can mow up and down the rows and get adequate weed control. If you have any questions about river birch trees for establishing a thicket, call us at Highland Hill Farm. This river birch clump is approximately six years old. One of the most appealing features of the birch tree is the bark, which on larger young branches and stems is reddish to pinkish brown and peels off in papery strips. The exposed inner bark is gray-brown to cinnamon-brown to red-brown. The bark of a mature birch is rigid and deepens to a dark brown. This tree is handsome without leaves because of its graceful silhouette and exfoliating bark. At Highland Hill Farm we sell transplants and seedlings. If you need to have them planted, we have a tree planter that you can lease on a daily basis. This tree planter is available at our Fountainville, PA location. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329 for all your tree and shrub needs. Thank you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.